Good morning, it's James here from the communications team. Um, it's just gone 4am and I'm about to join today's Ramadan Fasting Collective event uh, for the Suhoor, which marks the start of the fast. Uh, so please do follow us throughout the day. Uh, myself and a number of colleagues are going to be sharing our experience. It's 4.35am and the collective group have just met with Iman Mansour Clark um, to set the day off and provide some words of wisdom. Um, I'm excited about being part of an experience which practically enables me to better understand the experience that Muslims go through each Ramadan period. I'm a little nervous about how I'm going to make it to 8.03pm um, which is when sunset's expected um, without food and water. Um, but I need to remember that this task is less about food and more about taking ownership of thoughts, of my thoughts and um, actions. Um, I'm going to focus on using the time I'd normally um, eat and sleep to think about things that matter to me and how I can disrupt my usual thought pattern. Um, whilst some colleagues will be back to bed, um, I struggle to sleep after being woken up, so um, I'm going to be filling this time with reflection time that I can never normally find in my diary. Hi, it's Sarah from People OD. Um, I am being part of the Ramadan Fasting Collective today, the 18th of April. Uh, I did get up at 10 past 4 for the Zoom call, which was great. I, however, did manage to go back to sleep. I am missing tea. Uh, and water but it is an absolute privilege to be part of this and I'll keep you updated as to how the day goes on. Hello I'm Bernie Beckett, Chief of Staff for Surrey Fire and Rescue and part of the Ramadan Fasting Collective today. Um, I attended the 4am call this morning um, which actually was very motivating um, to set me off on my day. Um, However, it is now 10 o'clock and I am missing a cup of tea and some water. Uh, I'm not missing food, um, but I think um, that will be my struggle today. But let's wait and see. I'm really proud to be part of it. And I look forward to this evening when we can all get together and share our experiences. So I'm here at Ray Park Centre, which is uh, where we do our service training exercises. Um, I'm about six hours into the fast now, feeling okay, uh, hunger wise absolutely fine but I'm starting to feel quite thirsty so uh, yeah definitely missing the fluids. So an update from my last video, um, it's now about lunch time, it's about one o'clock, I missed my 10am reflections just because I'm so busy with meetings which kind of links into why it was so good that I got a few hours this morning um, just to think about things and plan and um, just use that as reflection time which I really really enjoyed. Um, I'm not actually missing food as much as I thought I would. Um, I would actually, I would love some food uh, or a hot chocolate or something um, but I'll, I know I have to wait till late for that. Um, I would have liked a glass of water or a bit of squash by now but um, yeah, bring on eight o'clock. But I would say I'm not thinking about things as much as I thought I would, um, which is nice. Right, right. right, so hang on. Right, so it's uh, 12.45 and I'm around people that are eating <laughs> and drinking. It's really quite difficult right now. How's your sandwich? It is really horrible. <laughs> How's your tea? Very milky. It's going well so far. Roll on the rest of the day. Providing support. <laughs> Always. Emotional support. <laughs> My fasting is going well. It's pretty, pretty difficult at lunchtime. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Dow here, EDI partner for Surrey Fire and Rescue Service. Um, the time is now two o'clock. Um, been doing this fasting challenge today. To be honest, it's a real struggle. I am so thirsty and I'm really hungry. I don't know how I'm going to make it to eight o'clock. Um, I didn't make the um, uh, the morning, four o'clock morning meeting. Um, so that's probably why I'm really struggling. But yeah, let's see how it goes for the rest of the day. A big well done to everyone in Surrey Fire, Surrey Police and Surrey County Council who are fasting today. 
I've been up in Birmingham at a conference and I successfully navigated the free croissants for breakfast, lunch, drinks and coffee. And I'll see you all this evening for a good meal. Hi everyone, I'm Lee. I'm an area commander with Surrey Fire and Rescue Service and today I'm taking part in the Ramadan Fasting Collective. It's currently 3pm and we're in the tea point in the kitchen. Yeah, and I'm feeling pretty hungry. I normally have a cup of tea at this time, especially if I'm getting hungry to make me feel a bit less hungry, um, but I can't. So definitely starting to feel quite challenged, um, but uh, enjoying the challenge. Yep, roll on 803. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to get to the mosque because I managed to get a puncture, um, but I am instead uh, having an authentic meal and I'm ready to break my fast. Uh, so I've been, been holding on. It's been a really challenging experience, but a really fulfilling one. And uh, I've learned a lot. Uh, I didn't think I'd be able to do this, but I've managed to. Uh, and it's been a really interesting insight into the Muslim community in Surrey. So uh, yeah, fantastic experience and one that I um, look forward to doing again in the future. It's now gone half past nine on the 18th of April. I'm now home. I wasn't able to join everyone in Farnham tonight, uh, but we did have Surrey Fire Fit and Rygate, which was great. Uh, throughout the course of the day, I missed uh, the ability to be able to have a drink, uh, particularly water uh, and of course tea, but definitely water. Um, I've since been home, obviously, and I've now had dinner and water definitely tastes better after not being permitted it all day. So uh, thank you very much for allowing us to be involved in this. It was an absolute privilege.